I'm Zach. I'm Isabel. And I'm Jessie. And we're going to be giving a presentation to you, Miss Ostrom's sixth period science class about radioactive pollution. Yay! What is radioactive pollution? Well, radioactive pollution is the uncontrolled distribution of radioactive material in a given environment. Sounds interesting. Let's learn about it. I work for a nuclear power plant. We dump our waste here. <laughs> Someone must have been dumping nuclear waste here. Oh, I'm, I'm getting kind of woozy. So, oh my gosh, this is a huge problem. I, I don't understand. No, there are so many different causes of I this know, problem. Like, nuclear power plants, yeah. like, sometimes they're not maintained very well, and there's accidents that the nuclear waste is spilled into lakes. Yeah, and I mean, nuclear weapons, sometimes they even conduct the tests like underwater, and all that nuclear waste just goes into the water. It's just crazy. I know, and then there's transportation of nuclear waste for nuclear power plants. Sometimes accidents happen, you know, and it, it just it spills and pollutes the environment. Yeah, and then just how they dispose the nuclear waste, like this guy, I mean, you know, they're just dumping them in lakes and rivers and in the soil around the power plants, and then they leak into the lakes and rivers. Just the way they dispose it is really bad. Well, I know, and can't forget uranium mining. I know. <laughs> it's really a problem, you know, it's just uranium mining, it just, it's bad for the environment overall. I mean, yeah, it wherever just, you do it, it goes everywhere. pollutes everything around it. I, I can't you know, believe it. All those causes can lead to some pretty nasty effects. Yeah, it really affects the water and the environment around it. Like anybody who's near the water or animals that drink from the water or live in the water, like the fish. The fish are dying in, in the, this lake here. And let's look at those dying fish. Oh no, the fish are dying. And the two-tailed fish. <gasps> They're being mutated from the radioactive waste. Oh no. Yeah, you know, it can damage the water for like millions of years to come. Yeah. And plus, you know, the effects on humans, like if you're living around that lake or around the water where the radiation has been deposited, I mean, that can cause diseases like cancer, leukemia, other types of diseases, you know, that we saw with the radiation from the bombs in Japan. Yeah, it even can mutations. Really, yeah, mutations and diseases, it can really harm humans. Yep. Nasty effects. <laughs> if only there was a solution. Magical solution to radioactive pollution. Look how happy and shiny they are. Yay, no it, more pollution. It's a miracle. But seriously, there is no magic solution. We must find real ways that we can stop radioactive pollution. One of the ways we can is by phasing out nuclear energy entirely. Another way is to crack down on nuclear power plants and their dumping practices and prevent them from dumping in nearby lakes and streams. I wish we could catch the owners of this power plant and make them stop dumping their waste. Oh wait! He's, He's right, right over there! there. Eat toxic fish, Popper! <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop this waste! Oh, You got him! You have failed, nuclear power fiend. Furthermore, we must invest money into new ways that we can get rid of the nuclear waste that is already here and fund the process of cracking down on dumping from the nuclear power plants. This will all require citizen involvement, which is the main way you can help. You need to be aware of this problem and talk to people. Hi, Mr. Congressman. I'm from Ms. Ostrom's environmental science class and I would like to know some ways to prevent nuclear pollution. Well, child, let me impart upon thee some words of wisdom. Hello, and welcome to the environment and you, finding your natural aura. Today we will be studying the devil in the environment, pollution, more specifically, radioactive pollution. Now class, what can you tell me about radioactive pollution? What are the three types? <gasps> Miss Rodriguez Vega! Miss Rodriguez yes, Vega! Zachary Darwish? Well, there's alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha radiation is a helium atom. 
beta radiation is an electron, and gamma, the most dangerous, is a photon of energy. Very good. Now, who can tell me about some case studies? Oh, well, there's this lake Zachary, in... Yes. I didn't call on you. Sorry. Can you raise our hand in this class? Yes, it's a very good thing. Yes, Zachary? Well, there's this lake in Russia, and it's become so polluted with radioactive waste that even that standing by it for even a couple of minutes can be deadly for humans. Yes, that's very true. Now, who can tell me about uranium ore? <gasps> I can, I can. Yes? Well, only like 1% of what is actually taken from the ore that is mined is actual uranium. So there's a lot of waste and it's bad for the environment because there's like radiation everywhere. All right, and who knows how long radiation lasts? I do, I do, I do. Yes. Well, it's estimated that for all of like the radioactive waste that we've created to go away, it'll take like 3 million years. It's a very long time. We must invest mu- wait. Er, Isabel! There's one lake in Russia- Did I call on you? <laughs> sorry! I'm sorry, Miss Rodriguez Vega. Don't beat me like last time. Don't beat me like last time.